So today, Beam and G Drive, we're gonna be doing the impossible challenge. We're gonna stick a diesel versus a ton of supercars in a race. And folks, the results are gonna be surprising. Also stay tuned because we check out several other awesome mods, including a Fast and the Furious Mustang, and we have the Impala, which I'm not sure anybody's excited about, but we're gonna check it out anyways. So be sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's jump in. So one of these is not quite like the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just sit here for a second. If you guys can guess which vehicle is a little bit out of place, uh, just go ahead and comment down below and no, it's not the Lamborghini. But yeah, we're gonna be racing this truck. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, Komodo, do you wanna finish last? Well, that's not the idea today. The idea is that we're gonna stick a 2,400 horsepower engine inside of this truck and really, we just have to beat one of these other cars, which uh, there's no rhyme or reason to them. They're just fast cars. Uh, I know somebody's going to point out the uh, old Mustang, but this is actually from uh, the Too Fast Racing. And apparently it's the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift Mustang. So you know it's packing. So yeah, it sounds like a pretty simple uh, challenge. We've got several things actually to check out today, but I actually wanted to start with this. So essentially, we've, uh, we're going to get in our truck here and we're going to go into the vehicle configuration. And we're going to go down here and we are going to modify the engine itself. So we'll go down, drop down box. And there it is, 2,400 ponies right there. So yeah, it kind of sounds like a Jetsons car, but I'm going to go ahead and say this is going to be good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put nitrous in there. Don't think it matters. Let's put the biggest turbocharger we can. Actually, there's a race turbocharger. Let's do that. And then let's go ahead and put some race exhaust on this thing. So it's for sure going to be upgraded. Now, is it going to be upgraded enough? I don't know. I'm hoping it is. <laughs> so a couple other things I'm going to do. We're going to shed some weight on this thing. So let's just go ahead and take off the headlights. We don't need that. Hood accessory. Keep that empty. Heck, we might as well just take off the hood and look at that 2400 horsepower motor. So let's go. Boop. There we go. You know, it looks pretty much like the other motor. I don't think there's actually a cosmetic change. But yeah, do you guys think that this can beat one of those other cars? Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, I think we can. Let's uh, so check it out. We put one of those fancy racing wheels on here. This looks ridiculous. Like the Supra's behind us. The Lamborghini's over there. There's a Viper back there, a BMW. Like it is stacked. All right, so we are ready to go. Doesn't matter how we make the lap. We just got to come back around to the start finish line and hopefully beat one of the other cars. Three, two, one, go. Oh, uh oh, oh no. Oh, it doesn't take off very fast. Wait, where are you guys go? Wait, okay, the AI's stupid. It's fine. I think we have a chance here then. Oh, what the heck? Dude, it just wants to drift. There's so much power to the back wheels. Hold on, we got to get an AI check. How are they doing? So I look back at the AI and I totally was screwing up there, slowing down. All right, so there is some AI going. I don't know where like the Lamborghinis and stuff are. Oh no. There's so much wheel spin here. Uh, did we dare uh, actually enable the nitrous? Uh, oh, geez. I shouldn't have waited. Like, I turned around to go see where they were at, and I kind of slid off the track, and I was like, oh, there they are. I thought they all died. Uh, most of them died, though. I don't know what happened there. Oh, come Oh, what the heck is wrong with this thing? It is a drift monster now. I mean, obviously, 2,400 horsepower trying to hook up is not a good idea. No, oh, we're getting past. Oh, never mind. We're not getting past. Okay, come on. We just got to beat somebody here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the others are going around. Wait, what's that car over there doing? Oh, there's one of the Lamborghinis. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh, I was going to try to hit him. Uh, there's a car going that way. Uh, okay, the AI doesn't like to follow just the racetrack, do they? Uh, this is fine, though. Hold on. We're going to come back around to the line. Uh, I'm surprised we're going to actually make it here. This thing feels... Not really good, but I mean, it's fast. It's got that. I'm kind of curious actually as to what kind of speed it has in a straight line. A turn. Here we go to the line. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody died. Wait, no, seriously, where is everybody? Okay, I'm here. Let's pause. Let's take in where everybody went. I mean, they started off good, but I feel like there's too many paths and maybe they all turned off. Oh, they did turn off. Wait. There's a track day. Oh, this thing's broken. It's wheels aimed that way. Wait, where did they all go? They turned off somewhere. It, was it in the S's up here? I think it was. Where? Wait, where did they end up? Oh, and we're going to find them. Okay, we have a crashed Lamborghini here. We have a crashed Mustang. He's on the access. Wait, why is the Supra aimed this way? So, 
Doing it this way might not have been a good idea. They all turned off. The Viper found a pole outside of the track. I didn't even know you can go out here. Wait, how did they get out here? <laughs> I'm confused. Which exit did they take to get this way? Maybe they uh, turned off on the line? Yeah, it would be nice if the AI were to actually stay in line here. I feel like maybe this is not the map to do it in, even though I thought it was. And yep, here's the NASCAR. Uh, Chase Elliott's stock car ended up way on the outside also. You know, I feel like we had a competitive start there. Like, I feel like something was happening, but we need to go to a track that is dedicated and it doesn't have a bunch of turnoffs. Okay, so we've set back up. We're in the B Sports Playground. I feel like they'll actually follow this track a little bit better. They might cut right here, but there's not a ton of exits for them. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, they're all trying to get around me. No, move, ding-dongs. Oh, and I got this. Wait, they're actually pretty good here. Uh, okay, watch out. Okay, the Mustang's like a drift version. I did feel like the AI can't actually manage that. But there's a Bolide, a Lamborghini, and a BMW way out. I just got to beat one of them here. All right, we're coming into the first hairpin. Oh, the Lamborghini just hit the first of the hairpin. Okay, so Lamborghini is out. Well, we're going to for sure beat that one. Oh, no, the Mustang and the NASCAR stock car piled into me. Oh, Mustang's over. Oh, this thing doesn't turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to beat a legit running car. Come on. This is ridiculous. I mean, this is kind of fun, but on. I forgot we have a secret weapon. We have nitrous. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, nitrous is on. Okay, I really wanted to cut the course there. They actually took the legit course. Uh, I'm kind of uh, astounded that they did that. All right, go this way. Come on. Is anybody at the line? I'm looking across. I don't see anybody cross the line yet. All right, so there's a chance, right? Oh, this thing just doesn't go. I think really it's just the hookup. It's not hooking up to the back tires at all. I mean, I don't think that surprises anybody. There is a uh, restricted version of this. I wonder if it'd be better. Oh, the Viper's around. Come on, we got a chance. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Let's get in front of the Viper. I think the uh, stock car took the Viper out. Uh, okay, come on. <laughs> yes. Wait, they're leaving the track. No, don't leave the track. Uh, Chase Elliott has left the building. I guess we could say the race is right here, maybe, because I feel like they're all... Oh, they're not leaving. Wait, what? Okay, half are leaving. Yeah, the AI gets confused. I, I like really closed circuits. This was definitely better than the other one. Uh, wait, the BMW's out. Oh, it crashed. Wait, oh, we might crash. Hold on, the Viper's finishing right now. Okay, I definitely think we can beat certain cars. Uh, it really is because the AI is not great, but you know what? I'm gonna call this a minor victory. Not a complete success. Also, the Viper just, what did it do? Did it hit the curbs? Uh, okay, well, we're just gonna pull around it. I think it high centered. That's what you get for having your really low supercar. Look at that, I can hit all these curbs. And then let's just gas it. The wheel spin is amazing. And boom, we have finished. Uh, it looks like the Bolide actually won. It's actually on its second lap. That was a little bit more competitive than it should have been. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of impressed. 2,400 horsepower is way too much for this diesel. Uh, I got an idea. Let's switch to the restricted. We'll run a race like it. Actually, you know what? We're gonna try to give ourselves a little bit here. So if we go over to the T-Series, I have a race version of this. I hope I can still swap the same motor out, but it's got a big boy wing on it, so we got aerodynamics. Okay, here we are, we got our race diesel. It does have the restricted motor, so we're not quite making the 2400 horsepower, but I feel like maybe we're gonna get less wheel spin here, and uh, we have a chance against the supercars here. So, we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, it's got a tad bit more hookup. Uh, it's still kinda slow, hold on. Here we go. It turns so much better. This race version is actually pretty good. All right, we're kind of keeping up here. Uh, we're getting that wheel spin, not quite as bad as before. All right, here comes the moment of truth. We've got a hairpin and the Lamborghini slams the, oh, I can't break, oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. What the heck, this thing, it slows down worse than the other car. Oh, the Mustang didn't even make the corner. Neither does the stock car. All right, the BMW, oh, you just cut me off. Wow, it's like real BMW drivers. All right, keep going. There is, I think the Bolide out in front. The Supra's in second. I believe I'm in third. 
Uh, I really want to cut the course here. If I cut the course, I could totally win this. Okay, come on. Come on, get up through the 20 gears here. Turn. Oh, it turns like a tank. I mean, it's definitely better. Uh, the wheel spin isn't quite as bad, even though it sounds horrible. I mean, it drifts pretty good, too. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I like this. Okay, I can see. I think it was the Supra's on the other side of this corner. Oh, but the bolide crashed. Uh, we have a chance. Man, can we get a podium here? Oh, turn, turn, turn. I need to use a little bit of handbrake here. No! The BMW driver's back! Oh, jeez! Okay, we're sideways. So it appears that the Supra has pulled off track and the bolide is... Is it backing up or did it just explode? It's backing up! Oh! <laughs> Wait. Does this mean technically we're going to win here? Hold on. Turn. Uh, I think the BMW... Oh, they've all pulled off. Wait. So we win because the AI is stupid. I mean, we weren't that uncompetitive. Uh, this definitely gets through the course better than some of the other vehicles. Uh, the Lamborghini, I think it's wiped itself out in the hairpin each time. Like, for some reason, the AI just likes to cut the corner there in that particular car. But you know what? I I'll take this. We're going to call this a victory. Oh, oh, don't spin out before the line. And gas it up. We'll spin city and boom. Yeah, we're going to say we won that. All right. Well, we got to see one more thing with our uh, fast boy here before we move on to the other mods. So, 2,400 horsepower. Let's go down the mega ramp here just to see what kind of air we can get. Uh, oh, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, oh. The back end's trying to come around. Here we go. All right, 153. I almost think having it in neutral will be better. Uh, or we need to find, like, a bigger, like, uh, transmission or maybe gear it out different. But look at that. It flies. Wow. That sounds cool, too. On... How are we going to stick the landing? Oh, perfect. 10 out of 10. And look at that. We hit the secondary jump and did half corkscrew. Okay. 2,400 horsepower. Too much. Let's move to the next mod. All right. So you guys saw this towards the first of the episode. I'm sure people want to see this. This is the uh, Ford Mustang. It's the uh, Fast and the Furious. I believe the Tokyo Drift edition. All these are available on Too Fast. I'll have the uh, website linked down in the description. But check this thing out. This thing is cool looking. So, the AI couldn't hold on to this. Uh, it was going uh, a little bit too sideways for it. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any bit better luck. Oh, no, this thing is totally set up to drift. Uh, this is actually going to be kind of fun, uh, even though I have no clue what I'm doing. Hold on, let's get some speed here. I want to do it maybe... Isn't there a hairpin up here? Uh, we're going to try it up there. Let's not carry too much speed. All right, though it's sideways. Oh, oh, okay. Try to get that back in to kick out. Like, it definitely is wobbling a lot. Uh, I'm not a drifter, so if you're coming for drift videos... Oh, oh, okay. There was some uh, sideways action there. Kind of uh, overcorrected it there at the end. Uh, here, let's kick it this way. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, the, okay. Man, we just spun it out. So, yeah, the setup here. Like, it feels good. Like, once you kick that drift sideways and... You kind of counter it. I feel like this would be actually a lot easier with the steering wheel. Uh, because, yeah, the steering inputs with the uh, thumbstick, it just goes from, like, 0 to 100 really quick when you start to turn the wheel. Like, yeah, there's definitely a lot of possibilities with this thing. Like, it definitely gets sideways. And if you could actually fill the wheel with, uh, like, say, a steering wheel and feel the vibrations, I'm sure you can actually uh, do some pretty good drifting with this. Uh, remote. I'm not so good at that. I'm sure there are some really good remote drifters. <laughs> like, it's just not me, though. I'm not really a drifter in the first place. Definitely not with a remote, but... I mean, it's a pretty fun little car. Now, I did download another thing off the, uh, the Too Fast uh, website, and it was something that I... You know, I forgot it even existed. So, Chevrolet made an Impala not that long ago, and we have one here. So... Yeah, these things are ugly. I don't like them, but there are a ton of different variations uh, from towing packages to drag racers. There's even some uh, police pursuit ones. There's a diesel drag. Like, who puts a, uh, a diesel in their Impala? But yeah, check this out. Oh, man, this car, I just, I didn't like it at all when it came out. Uh, but yeah, we can roll coal with it. <laughs> 
Oh, we should totally go to the drag strip real quick because this thing's got some speed. All right, we're going to line up. I'm not sure this one actually works on this map, so we'll just kind of stage ourselves here. It's hard to see through all the uh, the smoke pouring out the top. Okay. Uh, hold on. What's the inside of this look like? Uh, very basic. I mean, this is probably pretty close to the actual Impala. Uh, all right. So we are good to go. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> The amount of wheel spin. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, the diesel drag's pretty fast. And I'm kind of curious about the other versions. Also, is there a ramp at the end of this? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, this is glorious. There we go. Oh, we're going to hit the super speedway. Uh, hey, look, the Komodo Gaming logo. Oh! Okay. I know I say it a lot of times that, hey, look, the engine ended up in the, the driver's compartment. Well, yeah, the engine's in the dash pretty close to the driver here okay diesel drags are a thing what else do we have that uh, we have drift there's a drag electric that's kind of cool there's an all-wheel drive dragster let's just do the standard drag real quick let's see how fast it is compared to that diesel and oh oh you hear that whistle oh that sounds good all right let's pull up here is it actually gonna stage us is that a thing huh i'm trying to get a, a pre-stage here oh it does i didn't know that was a thing Okay, on, let's get our second stage here. Uh, oh, on, get a little closer. Okay, a second stage. All right, here we go. Oh, man, I missed the tree. Like, that tree was actually really fast. On, do we get a time down here? Okay, shift. Holy man, this thing is fast. Okay, and... Oh! You know, I didn't know we had a functional drag strip here in the Too Fast Arena. Oh, what was our uh, speed there? Okay, are we still up on the board over here? That was a 10-3, 153 miles per hour. All right, we can do better. Obviously, we missed the tree. So, hold on. Let's do this from the uh, first person here. And the seat is so far back on this thing. Uh, okay. Uh, where's my pre-stage at? Waiting for it. Uh, come on. I feel like we've gone beyond it. Okay, here we go. There's stage one. You can't even see it from the roll cage here. All right, we'll have to do it from this view. Okay, there we go. And go! Oh, a little bit slow reaction time. Yeah, it goes up to the third gear and that's it. Like, we're just in Will Spin City here. Come on, don't cross the yellow line and boom! Where's the line at? I didn't see a time up there. Oh, we didn't register a time that time. Uh. Okay, I don't I didn't think I touched the yellow line there. But yeah, it's pretty neat seeing an actual functional drag strip. Well, I guess we got to do one more version of it. I mean, we could do the electric drag and see what we got there. I mean, obviously this one's got to be like really, really fast. Okay, we're pulling up to the line here. Okay, look for that pre-stage. Come on. There's pre-stage. Okay. Uh, get a little bit closer. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, I felt like that was a good launch. Oh, jeez. Holy man. Okay. Oh, oh, it broke loose. Oh, we are, uh, we're done. Oh, jeez. Uh, hopefully there's some safety measures out here. No, there's trees. Okay. You know, I feel like we should actually do an episode of drag racing here. Since, uh, it actually registers the staging. Unlike a lot of times where we would just count it down, we'll actually be able to use the tree here. Uh, as long as the other, uh, lane actually stages too. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up. Check out the uh, links down in the description for the mods, and we'll see you guys next time.